hello guys i hope everyone is doing good uh, this is my review of lg g3 as i told on gsm arena that i will post a video about it first of all i am using uh, android 5.0.1 and uh, i will tell you how to update it manually it's very very easy nothing to do they are focusing issue and I will let you know how we can do it uh, so first of all you need to you need to open the website which I've mentioned many times on GSM arena that is LG firmware okay uh, here you get very interesting uh, the softwares or the firmwares all around the world you can see the uh, Hong Kong version here but to get rid of this and searching the uh, correct file I must say go to the top and uh, in the most download option you can get the HKG here it is click it open it wait for five seconds okay skip this and here you go it will start it downloading as my internet is too fast so it will take only 15 minutes to download second thing on the blog I have mentioned uh, the LG flash tool in case if you download the flash tool here you go from the mediafire website it will take on only 15 to 20 seconds to download second thing you have to download is uh, the drivers LG G3 uh, drivers from the same mediafire site same procedure first of all install the drivers second thing in, and then second thing is install the C++ er, visual C++ on time it will help to run the flash tool then if uh, your flash tool is downloaded you have the folder in the zip file okay just unzip it here you go here is my flash tool and uh, run it as admin there you go okay now as my phone is not connected here you go my phone is it and uh, you need to connect by uh, your phone via and I've mentioned each and everything okay so if you have any of your connect when you connect your phone it will automatically detect the version leave it as it is then select the KDZ file I have not downloaded the KDZ file you will file and put one more thing put your the KDZ file on the LG flash 2 folder it's very important I am not responsible if you put it any other folder or the same downloaded download folder you have to put it on LG flash 2 folder as I don't have the KDZ file right now okay just do a CSE flash if you want to update or upgrade to Android 5.0.1 leave everything as it is do not change anything and I must say do not change anything it will take almost almost 7 to 10 minutes to upgrade and flash your Android 4.4.2 to Android 5.0 0.1 as uh, I have Android 5.0.1 installed on my phone I have some issues on the focusing no problem with that all right and many people say that they have issues on YouTube I seriously don't have any issues on Android 5.0 0.1 here you go 
that's YouTube okay let me open the Wi-Fi okay no connection let me refresh it here you go guys there is not a single single issue with the YouTube in Android 5.0.1 and one more thing I forgot you have to download version 20D not 20C uh, once again it's 20D let me try yeah there is a issue with my connection here you go simple video and the quality is 360p like 30 to 10 pixels no issues with the video as well all right this issue has been resolved in version 20d not the 20c second thing i received many complaints that the phone is being lagging and it's been slower than the kitkat 4.4.2 so go to uh, about phone common software version and uh, just tap i guess uh, build number seven to eight times continuously here you go I, you are already a developer okay go to the settings again developers options then uh, turn it on go scroll down scroll down yes here you go animations uh, in the pre-installed are like 1x let me it's the normal uh, animation speed which is like very slow in anything if you are opening the messaging app or facebook everything it's very slow so only option you have is to turn it fast like go to settings again and change the window animation scale to 0.5x transition to 0.5x and the animator duration to 0.5x to be very honest it make your phone very fast very very fast and uh, I'm pretty sure that everyone will have this option and the slow speed resolved by this and uh, sorry for my bad English as I'm not feeling well today uh, one more thing uh, people say that uh, we have some issues in uh, like the phone is getting heat heated and heat up on android 4.4.2 it is kitkat i must say that it has been resolved it has been resolved in android 5.0.1 yes i'm not saying everything is resolved there are some issues there are some problems in android 4.5.0.1 and uh, this is it and one more thing people say that we have some issues regarding the charging speed or the charger their battery drain too fast when I must say do not go for the LG LG stock charger I've bought this Samsung Note 4 charger it's uh, 2.0 ampere the normal charger I guess is 1.5 or 0.5 ampere it charge your phone very quick and one more thing uh, I have purchased this safe and speed data cable it's I guess almost uh, 30 to 40 dollar and uh, I just ordered it from eBay and I must say it is the best data cable 
even better than the stock data cable all right guys uh, i am on the instagram sorry not instagram it's gsm arena second my facebook and the third on um, my personal number i will mention those in the section below you will get it in order to if you have any problem and i will be available anytime any anytime you want to call just whatsapp me i don't reply on the messages just whatsapp or the facebook messaging app i will help you right away i will let you know the problems you are facing i will be there okay guys take care have a great day bye bye